Hi. Hi, it's Ellie and Jamie reporting for my baba today on an important topic uh, that is stem cell storage and um, banking. Yeah, yeah, it's um, really, really interesting. I mean, it, the, never heard too much about it, to be honest, until recently and then starting to look into it. So. Had you heard of it before? Never heard you can actually, I, I know that heard all the media about stem cell research but never knew it was actually an option for people to use and when they have when their they have babies kids. yeah, yeah. Never no knew some of my nct friends had never heard of it either so um whether you have or not we're going to go through why we've chosen to do it and some of the perks of um why you would do it really i've made some notes because i want to be uh, properly informed and we don't have an auto cue yet. yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to use uh, Maddie's blackboard, but we thought against that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've uh, decided to collect the stem cells from this little one, haven't we? Yeah. And that happens in the third stage of labour, so once you've delivered the placenta. It's an umbilical cord, isn't it? Yeah, and it's non-invasive. It doesn't affect your birth plan. You can still cord clamp. Um, all you have to do is you get given a kit. Do you want to yeah, yeah, bend so forward? Yeah, yeah. get out of the way of Reggie. This is the magical kit. We've uh, chosen Future Health. I don't know if you can see that. Future Health Biobank. They're the largest UK stem cell uh, bank. And they've got 17 years worth of history. I don't know how... I didn't know... I suppose when I think 17 years, I think back to the 80s. But actually, we were... We're still in the millennium, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess it is quite relevant yeah. today. But um, yeah, so we've gone with these guys, and basically you get in touch. I've already spoken to our allocated phlebotomist. Um, nice. Once, yeah. yeah. Did you practice that word? Well, I've been there so many times. Yeah. I know how to spell it. <laughs> so yeah, um, we've spoken to her. So all you have to do is give her a buzz when you go into labour, or you know you're going for your C-section. Still not sure what we're doing there. Um, see how things turn out, and you take your kit along with your hospital bag, and then she comes in at the right moment, does the collection, gives the box back to you, and then you have to text a number, and a courier comes along and. It's That's it. So, so incredibly simple, isn't it, really, for yeah. what we need to do? Yeah, we just have to remember to take the box. Yeah. That would be your job. That will be. So the moment's panic of when it's actually happening, yeah. we need to have this with our Yeah, with, with everything our, with we our need. Bag and yeah. stuff and putting the boot and gone. Yeah. So, don't a little bit. The, don't forget Maddie as well. Yeah, and Maddie. <laughs> yeah. Maddie, leave her by. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, so why would we do it? Well, so it's basically collecting, processing and storing stem, stem cells um, and they're then put away in the Future Bank, Future mm -hmm. Health's bio bank and used in the case of a lot of life-threatening illnesses. Yeah, what's well, the 85 diseases. Life diseases that they can actually help with. Like um, leukaemia, bone marrow cancers, lymphomas, anemias and there's also research to, to say that they can help with things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's perhaps down the line so this is such an important uh, thing to be doing yeah I think I mean you think, you think about this opportunity you've got for your child it's a once a life opportunity when it's born to get those well, very useful stem cells from, from the um, from the medical cord from the cord yeah and then the benefits you're going to have on a little boy's life in the future is going to be incredible yeah so, I mean the, the opportunity to to save his life in the future yeah and is, and what's the because we didn't do it with maddie but it's one in four isn't it 25 yeah well, 25 cents chance she of, could use or for the siblings yeah which is really good but you've also got the option of the the tooth the, yeah so we'll probably be doing that um she's only she hasn't grown all of her teeth yet but no, once they start, start falling out, out yeah, you yeah. can you can do it with dental pulp too so if you have missed the chance at birth you can whip out a milk tooth. Um, <laughs> Obviously when it falls out, don't just whip yeah. it out generally. Yes, that's not yeah. advisable. Um, and send that off. And also I've, I've read that the, the the cells that they gather from those teeth can help things like arthritis and and um, yeah, degenerative muscle disorders and things. Mm. So it's, it's really clever what they can do. So 
yeah, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, the stem cells like regenerate, so it's almost like you're buying a bit of Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's quite, I always saying so futuristic, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it's it crazy. really is. But it it's is actually like, here and now, so we can actually do it. Yeah. Which is mental. I know. It's not just you collect the stem cells and it's all one here, one there, and that's what you get. It's multiple use as well. Yeah. Um, so when, fingers crossed, the time ever happens, you can use it, potentially use another example again later, and it's like a worldwide delivery as well for wherever you need it. The other thing that they can offer um, while they're doing the cord sample is just to take a small drop of blood from the cord and they can test, um, it's called the newborn screening test, they can test for things like lactose intolerance, celiac disease, medication induced deafness and bitter taste so that when it comes to weaning your baby you'll know which foods to perhaps avoid because I know with Maddie she had a terrible time with things, certain things <coughs> like courgette for instance so. Yeah she had a real gut problems didn't she and if, if yeah. we had known what to avoid i think she had a very different start to life yeah because less we had to stop stress. weaning didn't we for a while a lot of pain less stress and yeah. she had all sorts of issues as a result of it for not having perhaps the for us not knowing what to avoid yeah so i think the outlook newborn screen test is definitely something to do if you're going to do the cord clamping too um, and again, it's no more intrusive, it's just part and parcel of what they're already doing. So it totally makes sense. Wow, it's not long now, is it? Six weeks, 33 plus one today. So we shall see. Lots to come.